One of the most common and easiest mistakes made when assembling or disassembling a firearm is the damaging of screws. The screwdriver bit should fit the screw slot precisely. As this illustration shows, a tapered bit that does not fill the slot fully will raise burrs on the screw. When the bit is too thin, as in this example, burrs are torn to the surface at the outer edges of the screw slot. When the bit is wide enough to fit the edges of the slot but does not fill the full length, burring occurs inside the screw slot. This hollow ground bit fills the screw slot correctly and is tapered away from the surface edges, lessening the chance of burring or damage. Remember, the screwdriver bit should fit the slot properly, otherwise the bit could slip and gouge the finish of the firearm. Such a mishap may not only create more work for you or the restorer, it may render an otherwise good firearm impossible to fully restore. Many gun manufacturers use screws uncommon to hardware stores and building outlets. Remember, save those screws and guard against damaging them when working on your firearm. If a screw is damaged, it may be repaired, though the process is delicate and often difficult. It's best to replace damaged screws through a dealer. However, save the damaged screws in case replacements aren't available. Screw slots and fit have a dramatic effect on the appearance of the completed firearm. Screw slots need to be repaired, heads fit, and overall length checked before the finish is applied. Worn and damaged screw slots can be reshaped and reslotted to look original using a small hammer, a file, and a slot file to recut the slot. You'll notice when I'm working on these fine threaded screws that I'm using a pin vise. The reason for this is to avoid damaging the screws by clamping them in the jaws of the big vise. These are three different examples of the screw. Here you can see the screw that's been damaged by the screwdriver. The head's kind of walled out here where the screwdriver's been twisted out. Here you can see kind of an intermediate process where we've tapped it back down and started the finishing process. And here you can see the finish with the concentric circles after it's been finished polished. What we're gonna show you now, if the screws aren't quite bad enough that they need to be welded, you can tap them back down with a smooth hammer. Okay, we've clamped the screw down on the pin vise. The edges here are raised up. I'm gonna use a hammer that I've polished smooth Tap down both sides of the screw head. You want to be careful of the edges. Make sure that you don't mash the edges down too much. And you can go in with your screw slotting file. And then just go over the top with the paper a little bit. Right now we're going to use this particular setup to get the correct pattern on top of the screw head. And to do that, we're going to use a piece of sandpaper that's been stapled to the top of a wooden block. In this particular situation, we're using about a 220 grit. You want to clamp that fairly securely in the vise to make sure that this paper can't come loose. What we're going to do now is use a regular hand drill. And we're going to go ahead and chuck up this screw in the chuck here. Don't get it so tight that you crush the threads, but you need it fairly tight. Then we're going to go ahead and line this up on top of this block here. And you want it to be as straight vertical as you can get it. This will give you a good polished surface with the lines going in a circular concentric pattern. And that'll give a, a pretty close definition to what the original guns had.